So now we are logging into the system. Uh, we want to do stock taking. So initially, when you are starting your business, we are assuming that you already have got uh, some stocks that you already have, uh, and you have already received the goods from supplier. Uh, and probably you have already done some part payments to the supplier. So assuming that uh, we need to do a, a stock take in the, in the system. So to do that, uh, you need to go to inventory, then under inventory, so you go to inventory there, and then you go to operations, and then you go to inventory adjustments. So make sure always, if you click here, make sure that it's only one command that is ticked. In fact, whenever you are doing all your transactions, as long as you want to deal with only one command at a time or only one branch, make sure that only your branch that you are currently working on is the one that is ticked. However, you can tick both if you want to see reports for both uh, for both of the branches, etc. etc. So let me proceed. So to do your stock take, you can just click on create there. Uh, and then you go on location, you enter the warehouse that you want to do your location your stock for so let's say it's your main warehouse and just do your stock take from the main warehouse if it's a uh, stock taking for for the guys we have come back from from the van sales you can also select the warehouse here so in this case we only have got one warehouse so i tick that warehouse and then i go to accounting date i enter the accounting date no so let me say accounting date is just one and then here i can just leave uh, the default as it is here, if you want to do stock take for the whole products, you don't need to select any product here. But if you want to do stock take for a for certain product, you can just click here and select the product. So in our case, we only want to do, we want to do stock take for all the products. So we are not going to select any product here. We are going to leave this one empty. So I leave it empty. So you come here and you need to click on save. After clicking on save, you click on start inventory. So if you click on start inventory, it's now showing you these items. Uh, they will be they will be blurred. So you need to click here on counting. You enter the quantity. So it's showing that quantity on the end is sixty, and then we count we count it now and we found hundred. We go on ten daily, uh, one liter. I click there. Uh, we count and we find that there are fifty, and on the end is showing sixty. In your case, it can be zero. Maybe when you are starting to enter your transactions from the scratch, and then I click there. So here it's showing if there is short, it's showing negative ten. And then I go on Citro, I put seventy there. I click down here again. Uh, spoon. Let's say there are hundred. I can just leave it as it is. So it's now showing me the. So the moment I click save there, it's now showing me the quantities that are going to be appearing in the system. So I click on validate there. So my stock is now validated. Uh, so to verify that, I can click on product, then products here. And then, so you can see here, we have got our quantity 50 a year, 70 a year. Also, if you want a different view from this one, uh, you can also click on list here. It will show you a list view. So you can also see these stocks under another format, uh, which we call a list view. Uh, so that's it for doing stock take in order.